Hello, my name is Jamie. Welcome back to the channel. Unlike any other channel that showcases Pokemon Go PvP content, my channel exclusively showcases Shadow Pokemon. So if you're into that type of content, I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. So let's get into today's video. I'm super hyped to bring this one because my good friend Chino, one of the OGs of the community, all round nice guy, tried out a triple shadow team for the first time and he absolutely fucking smashed it going a perfect 5 and 0. So huge congrats to my friend Chino, aka one Darth Beta. He is a multi time legend ranked player, reaching legend every season. And you're going to see some high level plays and it's great to see someone transitioning into the shadow world and obviously getting a perfect 5-0. So the team we got today is a Crobat in the lead with Drapion and Lapras in the back. And this team I believe is completely non-XL. The Drapion is a 98 as you can see by the IVs on the left. And the Lapras perhaps is slightly XL but this team is super accessible. And even someone using shadows for the first time was able to go 5-0. So... In game one, we pick up an absolutely dreadful lead against Galarian Stunfist. We switch out into Drapion, and we are met by Shadow Machamp. I'm sure if you follow the channel, you already know that Sludge Bomb is going to near one-shot this motherfucker. Let's see if the Machamp is respecting the Sludge Bomb. We are going for a bait with the Crunch, and the opponent has some huge cojones, calls the bait. However, the spammy Drapion gets to a second Crunch. Is the Machamp going to choose to shield it up? No, they are not. One more poison thing, and Drapion has flipped the mid game. We can now realign our Pokemon. Lapras into the bear trap is a pretty good matchup. Rock size do hit for super effective, but with no stab, they do pretty much not that much. Around 40%. We are going to choose to shield this one up. The opponent looks to make a catch on the surf, on the Trevenant, and we now realign our Pokemon. Crobat does have to be worried of the Shadow Ball. We are choosing to shield this up. We correctly shield a Shadow Ball. So now we should be able to Poison Fang and take them out. Let's see if the opponent is willing to burn their shield here. I highly doubt it. They're going to put all their faith in the Bear Trap. However, we have almost two Surfs locked and loaded. This is looking like a good game. Rock Side comes through. It does not KO. We're building up towards the Shadow Ball and we're throwing a Poison Fang. I like this play a lot as this does mean that one surf is going to be enough to take out the bear trap. The opponent actually throws as well which, which is beautiful for us as this means they've dumped a lot of energy and Lapras should have no problem now clutching up this game. They are going to have to start burning shields, they're going to have to shield up absolutely everything and one surf is going to be enough to take them out. So it looks like Chino is building up towards the back to back. You're going to see the thickness of Lapras here. Although Rockside is super effective, sorry Bear Trap, with no stab, that is not going to do the job. This Surf is going to draw the final shield, and the next Surf is going to be more than enough to take game one. So despite seeing an absolutely dreadful lead, we're off to a very impressive 1-0 start. So GG's and thanks for playing! Chino holding his energy on the Lapras and not dumping a Surf on the Trevenant was the key to victory there. So, moving on into battle number two, we see a dream leader, Charmer, into Crobat, you fucking love to see it. They switch out into Gengar, and we have a really solid response into Drapion. So, this is not enough for a Focus Blast. Sludge Bomb lands, it does do quite a lot, as Gengar is super attack weighted, but we are looking to build up to the back-to-back -back crunches. This is just a punch, once again, Drapion is going to survive, and as it's CMP, I highly doubt the Gengar is going to be willing to shield as they would have to double shield to try and realign their Pokemon. So Gengar lets the move go through. Out comes a Walrus. Walrus really is not going to appreciate a stab Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb does draw a shield, so we're now in a pretty good spot. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to make another crunch. We do get farmed down. The Walrain does have quite a lot of energy, but our Lapras is running Skull Bash. So this is a pretty decent matchup. It's fairly neutral, but as we are up shields, we can shield this Earthquake. We're now at shield parity. Back out comes the Sylveon, and once again, Chino is putting on a clinic in energy management. We build up one short of the Skull Bash, which is going to be helpful as we are going to be ahead in energy when the Wall Rain comes back out. We land the Poison Fang on the Sylveon. A non stab side shot will not KO from this range. Crobat does survive. We don't manage to make another move, which is unfortunate, but this is just more farm for the Lapras. We farm down, we have the Skull Bash locked and loaded. Chino, the absolute madman, switches up. He's getting a phone call, so he's not even focusing. And this Skull Bash is still going to land. The Wall Rain calls the bait, and we're now sitting in a great spot. Icicle Spheres are double resisted, and with a boosted defense, I highly doubt the opponent is going to bait. Chino once again correctly shields an Earthquake. 
And now we are just going to go straight Surf. Surf is single resisted by Walrus. The Walrus shields it up though and at this stage we can get to the Skull Bash and take this battle. So once again, really great energy management. Over farming towards the Skull Bash was advantageous in the mid game and it made that end game pretty easy to seal the deal. So impressive showcase once again from Chino. We're off to a 2-0 start. In battle number three, we see Crobat into Kanto Shadow Mox. So it's Battle of the Shadows. This is a fairly neutral matchup. We do resist Poison Jab. However, Thunder Punch would hit for big super effective damage and we make a great swap into Drapion who tanks the move like a champ. Out comes Obstagoon. Sludge Bomb is no joke. It does around 45% to the Obstagoon. Do they respect it? No, they do not. They're now in the yellow and Cross Chop absolutely is not going to KO from this range. Cross Chop lands. We're hoping to make one more Sludge Bomb. We're running out of HP, so we are going to choose to chip it with a Crunch. The next counter will be enough to take us out. So that, once again, is the correct play. You can see it's actually CMP. You would have seen that the counter would take us out, but this is even better as the Obstagoon has dumped some energy. So back out comes Crobat. We are going to have to tank a Night Slash, but that is no problem. Night Slash isn't too threatening. And we don't really need to be too worried about the poison jabs if they return with the muck as they are resisted. Let's see what the opponent wants to do. We are going straight Shadow Ball. Does the opponent respect the damage of Shadow Ball? Yes, they do. So we now switch out into Lapras as we are up shields. Thunder Punch with no stab. It does hit for super effective, but again, it's not that threatening. We're still in the green. However, the poison jabs are starting to add up. So we are going to fire off a Surf. The opponent is already down a shield. They actually are now down all their shields. They must be weak to ice in the back. Let's see what it is. We are going to have to shield this up. We're really hoping they're not on acid spray. We correctly shield a thunder punch. Our defense is not lowered. The opponent makes a swap on the serve. Let's see what they've caught it on. They catch it on a crowbat. And my gosh, crowbat is not going to appreciate Lapras. Despite us being super low in the red, we are going to get rid of this crowbat. So hi crowbat, bye crowbat. We actually choose to come in and snipe with our own Crobat. Once again, Chino is not shielding. This is just a Poison Fang, which we tank. And now we have energy locked and loaded. We are resisting Poison Jabs, like I've said numerous times in this video. So despite us having lowered defense, we are going to save our shield for Season 54. And we one shield flex and take that battle. Once again, a really impressive showcase of energy management. So if you are a player that is looking to get to maybe veteran, expert, or even legend, you should take note of how Chino is managing his energy. So in this next battle, we pick up a dreadful lead. Mel Metal is problematic. It probably beats our entire team. Lapras doesn't want to see it as both Rockside and Superpower and even Thundershock would hit for super effective. Crobat really doesn't appreciate the Thundershocks or Rocksides either. So we switch out into Dracon and luckily for us, the opponent is staying in. We do burn the first shield, fearful of the superpower and dip, but the opponent just goes for a rock slide. We do get our shield back, and at this stage, is Chino going to shield? It looks like he is still fearful of the superpower and dip, but once again, it is a rock slide bait. We are going to outpace to this next crunch. Both Drapion and Melmetal meet, uh, make their moves at the same pace. So crunch lands, we get a defense drop. Are we going to have to tank a superpower? Once again, it is just a rock slide, so I do wonder if this Melmetal is actually on Flash Cannon. I know Home Slice Henry has done some Flash Cannon battles in the past. They actually now make a swap into Mewtwo. Mewtwo really isn't the counter you are looking for, but it does explain why you stayed in with the Melmetal. The opponent is looking to farm down, but we are single resisting Confusions. So we get a Crunch off and we draw a shield, which is absolutely fantastic. We now come in to Lapras because Crobat would be taking super effective from the Confusions and we're looking to get rid of this Mewtwo as soon as possible. They are loaded full of energies. Lapras comes in. We take him out with a Surf. Let's see what is in the back for the opponent. We switch back out into Crobat and it is a Trevidence. We've just got to be mindful of the catch. It's CMP tie here, which is best case scenario. So we are going to have to tank a Shadow Ball. It lands, does huge damage, but we're going to get this Poison Fang off. Poison Fang does hit for neutral. It gets the tree really low. They are looking to Shadow Claw down. It's a simultaneous KO and Lapras is going to resist it. Ice Shard down and take that game. So we saw a dreadful lead, but they're double weak to Drapion in the back. And Drapion is always going to do Drapion things. So in this last battle, we see a dream lead against Shadow Machamp. These Air Slash are absolutely shredding the opponent. 
We are going to fire off this Poison Fang. This isn't going to KO, but it will get them really low. They must be double weak to Crobat, as there's no other reason to stay in. And Chino has the same idea as me and shields up the Rock Slide. And we are going to add to Air Slash down. The opponent actually switches out, saving the really low health. Machamp for a potential Sack Swap. And they come in to Drapion. We do fire off a Poison Fang. Poison Fang is resisted, but now these Air Slashes are absolutely shredding them. Crunch lands, it isn't too threatening. We've now switched out into Lapras, and now with the defense drop, one Surf is going to be more than enough to take him out. So the Drapion fires back with a Crunch. We don't get the defense drop. We are going to have to tank another Crunch. Looks like Chino once again is choosing to farm up on energy. I really like this play. So it looks like he is going towards the back-to-back. -back. Or he's actually committing to the Ice Shard down. The Drapion died at the move. So we have a Lapras that is loaded full of energy. They try and come in with Machamp. Hoping that we do throw some energy, but Chino isn't having none of that play. We're now going to fire off this Skull Bash at the Sylveon, which does huge damage. And we now can come back in with the Crobat. This game is absolutely over. This Poison Fang is going to draw a shield. The opponent's hoping that we are weak to Charm in the back, but we absolutely are not. And we might not even see the Drapion come onto the battlefield. We make one more Poison Fang. Does the opponent shield it up? They choose not to, which is the correct play, as this game was absolutely over. Crobat absolutely ran through the opponent's last team. I really like Crobat. It's even better in Premier Cup, where you don't see all these legendaries. But a great energy management showcase from Chino. This team is more or less fully non-XL. I'm not entirely sure if the Lapras is XL or not. But either way, these Pokemon are really accessible, really strong. And despite some really challenging matchups, fantastic energy management did mean that we was able to go a perfect 5-0. So huge thank you to Darth Beta, aka Chino, for the submission. If you'd also like to submit some battles, the link is in the description down below. And I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.